Hello everyone! My name's Lauren and I'm an actor with the Octagon Theatre. The Octagon Storymaker Sessions are great opportunities for children and the grown-ups who look after them to enjoy original stories told by an actor with musical moments to help bring the stories to life. At the moment, you can't come to the Octagon to enjoy Storymakers, so Storymakers is going to come to you. We've adapted some of our Storymaker sessions so that you guys can enjoy them from the safety of your own home. I'm going to be here telling the stories from the safety of my home. And afterwards, you guys can follow the link to take part in a fabulous craft activity once you've listened. So stay safe, everybody, and we can't wait to see you at the Octagon soon. The Gingerbread Man In the middle of a forest lives a lady who loves to bake. Each day she stirs and mixes until her arms just ache. She likes to cook with chocolate, from dairy milk to flake. Her favourite thing to eat, of course, a sticky chocolate cake. Then one day the rain falls down and the lady can't go out. She's hardly any chocolate left and pretty soon there's nout. Oh me, oh my, she starts to cry, her face a grumpy pout. And then she finds some gingerbread and gives a joyful shout. I know just the thing to make, she says and gets her pan. I've got all the ingredients, I'll make it if I can. She switches on her oven and hears it start its fan. I'm going to make the tastiest snack, a gingerbread man. She starts to stir the mixture in a great big shiny bowl. Then she picks the mixture and then she starts to roll. She makes a nose, two eyes, a mouth. The gingerbread man is whole. But all that he can see right now is an oven filled with coal. The gingerbread man lies in the oven thinking, Well, this is not much fun. Is this the way a family should treat their one and only son? The timer rings, the woman smiles. The gingerbread man should be done. But as she takes him out to cool, the gingerbread man starts to run. Wake up, cries the woman to her husband. My gingerbread man has broke out. We must get him back immediately. There's no time for messing about. The man and the woman run as fast as they can. Of that, there is no doubt. But the gingerbread man hears them both, turns round and gives a shout. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man runs through the woods past trees both small and big. The man and woman are now so far behind that he starts to do a jig. But as he dances up and down, he trips upon a twig. The gingerbread man falls to the ground. Let me help you, snorts a pig. The pig is hungry and craving food, for he's not yet had his tea. Eh, jump on my back, the pig says, smiling with glee. But the gingerbread man sees through all this. The pig's plan is clear to see. All this pig really wants is food, and that food is me. The gingerbread man jumps right up, the pig hot on his heels. With the three of them now chasing him, the gingerbread man says how he feels. We gingerbread men deserve lives of our own. We shouldn't just be your meals. And then he zooms off so very fast, it's as if he is on wheels. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. So the husband, wife, pig and the gingerbread man are all in one big chase. When they pass by the paddock of a world famous horse, the winner of many a race. The mighty racehorse, Warrior, who gallops with speed and grace. A gingerbread man for supper, says Warrior. Now wouldn't that be ace? So Warrior sets off running at her very fastest trot, even faster than when she went the year she won Ascot. Yet no matter how hard she tries, catch him she cannot. The gingerbread man shouts back to her, Is that the best you've got? Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man is now tired, worn down by the hungry herd. 
when in the trees he hears a noise of a creature just being stirred. He listens to the song from up above, the most beautiful ever heard. And then he sees overhead a brightly coloured bird. Do you need help? says the bird with a smile ever so sly. The gingerbread man is yawning now and lets out a great big sigh. Oh yes, I suppose I could, for however hard they try, there's no way that they'll ever catch me when I'm high up in the sky. No, says the bird to the gingerbread man, you must hold on to my wing. The bird's plan has come together. She's so happy she starts to sing. But the gingerbread man sees her glee and alarm bells start to ring. But then he has an idea and it sounds like this. Ping! Off fly the bird and the gingerbread man while the others watch on in a grump. But when they reach the tallest tree, the gingerbread man does a jump. He sees the whole forest beneath him before landing with a bump right into the middle of a muddy puddle. Oh dear, he thinks, what a dump. He stands up shaking off the mud, feeling rather rotten. Which way now? Which way's out? Oh, I do think I've forgotten. And worst of all, to top it off, I've got a soggy bottom. But best keep going after all, for there's no time for stopping. The gingerbread man's chasers are now all run out of steam and they're all so very angry that they let out a big scream. They watch as the gingerbread man sprints down by the stream, as merrily he hums to himself, life is but a dream. Run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man tricked them all without any of them knowing, and in the end he won the day with more than a little crowing. But I'd like to say to the gingerbread man, thank you from us for showing that sometimes when life is tricky, we just have to keep on going. Nobody knows where he is now, whether he is far or near. But I've heard that sometimes when the air is quiet and clear, if you listen hard enough, then you might just hear. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man.